Why did I start my own club? Well, I guess I was crazy. I was having a good life. I needed trouble. I needed something that challenges me, right? For years, I was working for different clubs, big clubs, big names. I have great memories. I've learned so much from them. But I got to a point that I had question marks in my head. What's next? What are you going to do? What is it that will make you happy? Is it to stay in your comfort zone, coach and be happy 20, 30 players? Or is it something bigger? So that was the starting point of me wanting to start my own club. But let's talk more about this. So. So, to coach a group of players, 20 players, make them better, that's beautiful. But I wanted something bigger. I wanted to be able to change lives. It got to a point with the previous club that I worked with that I was not happy anymore. I didn't want to report to people. I did not want to do what people above me tell me. What if there is a better way? What if the kids deserve something better? What if boys and girls can benefit from new ideas, new ways of dealing with them. One day I turned up to training, I did my session, I walked to the office and I said, thank you so much, that's it for me, I'm done. I've already told the kids, I can't do this anymore. But if you need me for the next few weeks until you find a replacement, I'm here. They said, okay, they were happy to be honest because I was always a troublemaker, I was always the one that would nag and moan about, hey, the bibs are dirty, the pitch is too small, the balls are deflated, we need uh, more quality players. All those things, they, they were not happy. So they were happy with me leaving. I closed that chapter and at the back of my head, I had this idea of what if I create a special place based on my beliefs, based on my beliefs that were based on science, on what the kids, boys and girls, can really benefit from. That's another chapter. So let's take one more step and tell you how I started. You see, things, small things such as clean bibs, matter to me. But then sometimes when you're in a big organization, nobody cares. Use the bib, put them back in the bag, they are sweaty, they are wet, they stay there, they stink for weeks. And then kids come and wear them, it's disgusting. That bothered me. So then, knowing all these problems in big football clubs, or at least where I work for, stayed with me. So I said, if one day I start my own club, the bibs will not be smelly. That we can do. We can wash them every night. That we can do. Anyhow, remember when I said I was done and I said, oh, why? I said bye. I had the idea of starting my own club, but I did not have any plans for it. Within a few days, people started to call me. Parents, players, I said, hey, you forgot us? You've been our coach for years. You've been my son's coach for five years. Now you just leave. They don't want to train. So please, whatever you do, coach them. Well, I wanted to coach, right? I wanted to have a club as well. So we said, you know what? Let's just get the boys together and train them. It was a group of under 14 boys. We rented a pitch in Jebel Ali. We started to train without anything. The only thing we had was footballs and temporary beer. 16th of March, 2015. That's how we started. Let's go. So, I got to a point that I had a group of under 14 boys and we said, let's plan and start the club. You would not believe what happened in the next two weeks. Everybody contacted me. People that I did not even know, they would say, hey, my son is crying. You're not there, he's crying. And I would say, I don't even know your son. Then you realize that kids, that sometimes you just said, hey, how are you? You're important to them. So I had to plan to start other age groups. These are all the reasons of why I started the club. And as you can see behind me, I have a lot of quality coaches. To cut it short, to tell you in one sentence is, I wanted an environment that would help boys and girls to get better. Better coaches, better equipment, better mindset, and better long-term development program. 
how I started my football club or how you can learn from what I did, my seven and a half year experience to start your own football club, that's a long YouTube video, but I promise you I'm gonna make it. So uh, something that I still after seven and a half years, almost eight years, like to do is to be present at every single session every single night. So sometimes I go inside the sessions, talk to the players, talk to the coaches, while respecting their space. Because even though if I own the club and I run the club, you have to respect the presence of the coach and the training session. But sometimes I do this, I go up and I just watch all the sessions at once. Come, I'll show you. Number one mistake that people do when they run a successful organization is sometimes they delegate which is important but then they let go they don't know what's going on for me it's important to know what's happening with every single kid we have around 300 players for me it's vital to know every single one of them like the other day i bumped into a girl in the mall she said hey coach how are you i thought she's a fan or somebody that i know but she was my player and i did not realize who she was, I did not recognize her. So then it hurts me because she trains on a different day that I was in another venue. So knowing the player is important regardless of how big the club is. Remember, every player matters. You're not just a number for a club. You are an important member, even if you don't play in the league matches on Sunday. Okay, so um, I promised you, I tell you why I selected Alliance for the name. The main reason is I had a group of boys, remember, the under 14s, and they were together, they were family. So I needed a name that would relate to being together. Then the first name is United. So I didn't want United because there are 2000 clubs with United, uh, Union, all those things. And then we got to the name of Alliance. It starts with A, the first letter, it's togetherness. What more did I want? So we went with Alliance. So this video was why I started the club. But let me tell you something else. Why you start a project is one thing. The other thing is how can you add quality every single day to your club? It has a price, right? So I wake up early in the morning. Now it's 8.45 in the evening. I have my meal here. I'm gonna have it send some emails and check some stuff for the league, go back and wrap up the training session, say goodbye to everybody, and then I'll go home. So there is always a price. Yeah, we are a good club, we are getting better every day, we are well known, blah, 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 which is nice. But nobody sees the hours that we put, myself and everybody that's working with me. So again, the next video on how you start your own club, I'll talk about time management and how you have to sacrifice so many things in favor of building your dream club.